Hey y'all, welcome to Blue Bone Light. I'm Samantha. Today we are processing Jackie, uh, our meat pig. If the consumption of animal products or the butchering of an animal is a problem for you or a sore subject, just do yourself a favor and don't watch the rest of this video. This is your formal warning. been several days since we processed Jackie and a couple weeks since we've processed Wilson. So today we're just going to talk about that experience um, and how we felt going about processing our first two large animals at home. So all in all, at least for myself, I think Jerry is probably in on this too, uh, it was really doable. Like surprisingly, I thought it was going to be way harder. Okay, that's a big animal. What? Wilson was like what? It's probably like 275, it's close to 300 pounds, probably. Yeah, like that's a, that's a big animal. The thing that I was most concerned about was um, getting the actual cuts of meat out. Like, I've never actually had to process down a carcass into uh, like marketable meat cuts. Like, you know, chop, steak, and uh, pork chops and like stuff like that. Um, yeah, because rabbits are super easy. Cut them in half and right. stuff them in a Ziploc bag. Yeah, and when you cook a rabbit, you're pretty much going to cook the whole thing or half of one, whatever. Right. So there's not much actual butchering to do. It's just the dispatch and process of gutting and skinning and all that stuff. So a pig was a lot different in that aspect, so I wasn't really prepared for that. But we watched a couple of really good YouTube videos, and I'll link them in the description below. Um, and they, like... I just turned the YouTube video on and we watched it as Jerry was cutting down the carcass. So yeah, even then it's so much it looks so much easier when they do it because it's been hanging in a yeah. cool room for a few days or so and it's all nice and dry and mine's like flopping everywhere. We can talk to there's a processing plant for like deer locally. Um yeah maybe they will let us hang our carcass there. But even if we can't go and hang it somewhere else, uh, it actually worked out really okay. It, was, it wasn't that bad. We skinned and quartered the pigs while they were outside. And then we brought the quarters inside and broke them down into actual cuts of meat. And that worked out really nice because you know we have AC in the house so we could cool off and like slow down a little bit. So no, it wasn't that bad. It really, it wasn't bad. And the next question uh, is probably, are we going to raise more pigs? And the answer to that is yes. So we're probably going to end up getting pigs again around September. That way we'll be butchering probably around like February or March. A little bit earlier than we've done this time just because it's a little cooler outside and you don't have to deal with the daggum South Georgia gnats as much, which I literally sprayed him down with no gnats as I was cutting and then rinsed it all off when I got done so that I didn't have bugs getting in my way. Yeah. yeah it was terrible. The other thing is that um, pigs are actually more sensitive to the cold than they are the heat, but it gets so hot here uh, and it really doesn't get that cold. So for us, 
processing when it's colder outside is going to be much more comfortable and raising them over winter isn't going to be that big of a deal because it's not like it snows here so they'll be fine with a little extra hay. If you have any specific questions you want to ask us uh, you can just leave them in the comments below or you can email us or message us on Instagram like whatever you want to do. Um, I'll be more than happy to talk you through things um, if there's something specific that you'd like to know about. Well, that's pretty much going to be it for this butchering video. Uh, in the future, I would really like to do a step-by-step -step, like how-to guide, but uh, we just weren't there yet. We weren't ready. We didn't know enough. We had to do some learning ourselves before we could teach. So you can look forward to that, you know, like next year. If you enjoyed hanging out in our little corner of YouTube today, please consider liking, sharing, or commenting down below. This just tells the YouTube algorithm that you liked this video and then it should show it to other people. And it's a really non-committal way of supporting us. Now, if you feel like committing to us, you can subscribe and hit the notification bell and that just means you're gonna get a little pop-up every time we put out a new video. If you'd like to get to know us on a little bit more personal of a level, a great way to do that is to check us out on Instagram. I post there on a daily basis. If not an actual post, then I'm updating our stories very regularly. It's a great place to see things as they're happening instead of on YouTube where there's generally a little bit of a delay. If you'd like to check out the video of when we brought Jackie and Wilson home back when they were little babies, uh, you can check out that video up there and I'll link it in the description too. Well, that's finally gonna wrap it up on this uh, multi-day video. So until we meet again, bye y'all.